<laughs> and we're back with another episode of On the Record with Tiffany and Kevin. And uh, I've got my uh, favorite uh, comedian here. Like, I, I was looking at you just last night with my oh, daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because my because of uh, the Martin Show. The wonderful, yeah. Yeah. Um, the wonderful Reginald Ballard. And I have our our uh, special guest, Mr. Justin <laughs> Charles <laughs> Evans. <laughs> Justin, my brain just went blank for a second. Uh, Justin, uh-huh. you have gone through a major ordeal with dialysis and uh-huh. with kidney disease. Um, and we've been talking to you and keeping up with your your story. Can you tell us, you know, I want to jump right into the, sp- the space where you talk to us about how you died and what that meant for you. Hmm. Huh. I died. Um, I died through like high potassium and low electrolytes is what they what they told me my heart uh just stopped your heart stops like uh for those that don't know and i found this out i learned it the best way to explain it is when they're putting animals down they'll give them too much potassium and it just stops the heart so Mm -hmm. when you're when yeah exactly so when you're uh, doing dialysis that's that's the constant fight is to keep your phosphorus down and your potassium down. And um, for those that don't know, phosphorus, what is phosphorus? Because I didn't know. And it took me about five, some years for them to, to really break it down. Phosphorus are preservatives. Do you know what preservatives are in? They're in your jelly. They're in your, they're in everything. A whole lot of stuff, yeah. A whole lot of stuff. So then you, you really think about what you can really eat. Hmm. But that's that's here or there. Potassium, potassium. I was thinking I was eating healthy, and until I started to really learn, like potassiums in spinach, you can't really do spinach, and you That's can't right. do. You think you think you're eating the the right things? Tomatoes, no tomatoes, no oranges, um, yeah, oranges. yeah, no potatoes. But what they don't tell you is there's ways that you can get you you can get around that too, and you can um like. Potatoes or uh, or rice. Let's say rice. Um, you you cook the rice. You put it in the refrigerator for twenty four hours. And I had a nurse tell me this. They never tell you this. You put it in for and, and all the starch leak, leaks out of it. And most mm. of the problem most of the problem that we're having anyway is inflammation. So if you do things that that you have lack of inflammation, a lot of these things don't happen. And then they want to tell you to eat white rice. But for me, I know what causes candidas is sugar. So you know what? Rice turns into sugar. And then, oh, you can eat bread. They tell you, don't. what did they say? Um, eat white bread. Don't eat multigrain bread. What sense does that make? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's kind of yeah. like little things that's going to cause things to trigger or 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 be worse and with these little things half of these people they're not on a strict strict diet or regimen anyway so um it doesn't cause anything but something minor to cause something to inflame mm-hmm. if you already have an underlying thing of diabetes and i see some people just sitting there eat you know whatever or let's let's use for example they give they give me a protein bar and i i told them to their face i was like you know, if y'all really want, I come in there with with a, a egg, set a egg muffin. <laughs> Cause if you want to give me this protein, it's a sugar bar, man. And I just sat here and worked out, so that we ain't got to do this. And then, oh well, Mr. Evans, I guess you did pay. Yes, 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 Mr. Evans did. I, I I'm sitting there telling them with my dietitian, so it's a joke. And even Arlene saw it was a joke when these dietitians want to come in there and tell you stuff, and they're <laughs> and they're way out, off, way off way off well but so your potassium got real high my potassium got high um this is how it happened i i'm i'm an advocate of not going to the hospital because when i go to the hospital i get kidnapped 
They'll keep you for three days. They'll run all these tests when they know you got to do dialysis. So Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to the hospital, but I talked to my mother. She was like, Justin, please just go. You don't feel. And I I felt felt a little different. Tell people what you mean when you say kidnap. You mean that that you cannot leave the hospital. You cannot. Well, you you can. But if you sign. Let me tell you why you cannot leave the hospital. Mm -hmm. Because if you leave the hospital, they they say that you sign AMA, which means against medical advice. I don't care. I'm going to leave anyway. Well. They don't tell you. You get that whole check. Nothing is written off. No insurance can pay if you leave against medical advice. And who got, I have plenty of 200 and something thousand dollar bills from the hospital. Who can pay that? I remember the last time they gave me a $200,000 bill. I told them I can't leave your hospital. And I didn't. And they said, Mr. Evans, you got to leave. Mr. Evans walked down there with his gown open in the back, and I walked all the way to the thing. And they said, and I said, I just can't. I'm going to have to go home and kill myself. I got these bills. You know, they, they said, oh, we have we have a, a fund for it. I'm talking about $200,000 now. Wow. We have a fund for it, and, we, we, and they paid it just like that. Mm-hmm. Ain't that so? And you, I told, you, have they got to, I, you can't sign out. Uh, with uh, you so can't sign that's out. why you'll hear people saying that that uh, you have to stay because you kidnapped. It's kidnapping. You, it's a, it's a legal kidnapping. Yeah, it's a legal kidnapping, and they do it through laws. I was going to say that earlier, but I didn't want to interrupt you. But a lot of this stuff is, is laws, and then when you learn the law, oh, it's cool. We'll just change it, and they'll change the law. This is this is how they've had us for a long time, and this is what's what's continuing to go on. And who's going to mm-hmm. call it out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why there have to be people like you. So you you had the, uh, you were dialyzing in the hospital. You're trying to go to dialyze in no, the no, hospital. No, 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 no. I hadn't even dialyzed in the hospital. I went through the ER because my mom wanted me to go. Okay. Um, I got to the ER. They admitted me. I was in there. And the next thing I know, it was three days later, I woke up. So I had fought with my mom all that day. And then finally, because she said it and another friend said, just go to the hospital. I went to the hospital and I died as soon as I got in there. Oh, wow. Thank goodness you, yeah. you went Thank to goodness hospital. I listened, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm a little yeah. stubborn sometimes. But yeah, thank goodness I listened. And I died like 30 minutes after I got in there. I, all I remember is uh, checking in and putting the blood pressure cuff on. And the next thing, it, it was like I woke up and I was very well rested. Um, my mom said she talked to me and I cried. I had another friend come and she prayed over me and rubbed my feet. And um, I don't remember any of that. I do remember being um, feeling real calm when I woke up. And I remember. Um, you didn't walk toward the light, did you? <laughs> Man, I, I think I am the light. <laughs> okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> I got you. But uh, nah, I feel like I, I I feel like that next three months was hell, and mm. the reason why is because like I've been blown out of buildings in 2012. I survived a cruise crash. Like I have been really? in some, huh? The one off of Italy. Really? He was in that crowd. Yeah, uh, Costa Concordia. Yeah, the wow. one that the captain jumped. And, and so I've been hit by a car in 2018. I have been through some stuff. And I, I've actually signed up for a lot of this dangerous stuff. Thrown, you know. And um, I think I had a death wish at, at, at some point. Um, or some. I, I just didn't know what was going to happen. But I think after I died... And, and especially being a gymnast, too, like you would do hard skills and you would continue to do them even though you were scared. So getting over fears is big for me. Right. But when I died, I uh, I was scared of everything, like dry, like riding in the car. It felt like, oh, this is going to happen uh, because it was a reality that I died. Yeah. I have been skipping death for a while. Right. Wow. But it was a reality like and that was just like it, it, it was. It was like, and everybody, oh, did you have dreams or did you do? Nah, I rested. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, maybe my life is dreams. Mm. 
Well, I tell you, man, it, it's like, you know, you seem like, you know, you can feel, and it seems like, you know, you're a special person because of the stuff you've been. And, and I feel like that myself sometimes because I know when I was going through the dialysis, man, you know, all the people in, like you were talking about the, 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 the phosphorus and the uh, potassium and the proteins and all that stuff, man, I was the only one. It was 25 of us in this in this dialysis uh, center. And out of all the people, the doctor told me, say, hey, man, I, I don't know what it is about you, but you, know, you, you need to eat bananas. You need to eat uh, tomatoes because your, 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 uh, your, your, your um, um, potassium is low. He's, he's like, your protein is low. We need to get your protein. It was like everything that, that, that happened that people say happened to them in dialysis was reversed with me. It's like mm-hmm. I had the and energy. It, it, like, and it normally know, is yeah. with, with Caucasians. is normally with people that have a lot of money. I think I made a lot of people mad. And, mm-hmm. and when I didn't act like a black person, like they would have mm-hmm. expected me to act, it pissed them off even more because I write letters. Like the stereotype yeah, yeah. they have of black people. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and and, yeah, and yeah. so they could never blame me and truly get me out like they wanted to. You see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I, I, I would have so many people involved that they it, it was people watching them. Well, yeah, I would say yeah, like yeah. when back to your the medicine part, uh back to what y'all were saying about how each one of you was uh different. You know, mm-hmm. that is what we're learning with precision medicine. We shouldn't mm-hmm. have this idea that that you just do this one treatment and you do it this one way for everybody. Right. Because, right. as you said, there are things that you needed. Yeah. And especially mm-hmm. dietarily. Yeah. Both of you are saying dietarily there was so much that could be done for each of yeah. you. Because it was a big difference between him yeah. and me. It's like his, like his potassium was high. My stuff was low. And usually kidney patients' potassium be high. You know, but my junk was low. And uh, uh-huh. they were telling me to eat stuff that I didn't want to eat because I wasn't eating meat at the time. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to eat. They, they were telling me, you got to eat meat they because me before you go into the they surgery, we want your protein to go higher. We needed the protein to go higher. And that's all that they were telling me. You know, so um, it's just like now. Um, uh, I haven't ate meat, you know, since last Christmas, the Christmas before this past Christmas, whole year. I mean, me. So the doctor called me and said, hey, man, you know, your, your B12 is low. Your B12 is low. We need to get you. You need to eat some, you know, meat. And and my kidney, when I told Tip last week, uh, a couple of weeks ago, was it last week, a couple of weeks ago? It was, it was 1.2, weeks ago. my kidney. Yeah. So I've been eating meat. It went to 1.4 now. So from 1.2 to 1.4, so I've been eating meat. I'm getting back off. <laughs> because you know what I'm like saying. Was, so, and, and this is what this is what Doctor Sebi Yeah, you know. What I'm saying? So, this is what Doctor <laughs> Sebi preach. And when I bring this stuff up to them, it's always a problem. It's always a reason why it's not. Um, it's always something. So, and there's all sorry. kinds of evidence, by the way, that supports what each one of you is saying about plant-based diet because for some people yeah, they're yeah, literally yeah, no finding doubt. out that that a plant-based diet works very well for many yeah. kidney patients that's now, why they, i they, they, feel evidence. they're inducing this they're inducing mm-hmm. this they're, they're causing people to have and, and do certain things that would cause this to um to prolong or to happen i i i i kid you not i'm just sitting here like where they give four people, uh, give you four hours a day to sit in a dialysis chair and they think you're going to be sitting there sad. I'm studying what they're doing. Because it's lack, knowledge, it's, it's lack of knowledge, man. It's lack of knowledge about It's lack of knowledge. The, 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 the main thing is that, that people, the, the, the elephant in the room is nutrition. Because yes. mm-hmm. we've been it taught is. all these years with the there food pyramid yes. about the milk, about the, the, the steak, the meat, and all that. And uh, when you when you put all that protein on your kidneys, you know, and 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 we as Americans eat meat four, three, four times a day. Sometimes five. In between snacks, we still eat some kind of sandwich or, or some kind of meat. And that's a lot of protein to put on your on your kidneys. You know what I mean? Every day, all day, twenty four seven. I mean, you putting protein, 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 and that's not the type of protein I think we need on our kidneys, man. Not so even that. 
the, the the chemicals that they're putting in the meats. If you actually just go on Google or YouTube, you can Damn. actually see like some of the stuff, some of the stuff that they um inject to plump the meat or to do things. Yeah. And you don't really think about it like it's it's done in mass production. So you getting it one way or the other. Mm. You see? Well, and the, it, what it, you're it's saying, what you all are saying, the evidence is is. It, there is evidence out there that supports exactly what you're saying mm. about plant-based diet and about the hormones that are put in the meat and about uh, red meat, chicken, mm -hmm. and fish, and, and how each one of them I, I a, affect a, your body. Because there are some things that are easier on, on right. your body than others. And there's evidence now that's coming out about... Um, the difference in people and precision medicine. How important mm -hmm. it is that that uh, your therapeutics, that your uh, uh, lifestyle changes are specifically to you, that they're looking mm -hmm. at you. Because there's, you know, every single person is different. And it go and it goes to it stands to reason that that's true because when you look at the kidney, each person's kidney is different. Your mm. kidney is made up of different cells. Then, uh, you know, the well, cell me... composition isn't exactly the same for every single person. And when you start reading this stuff, it's like, oh, well, one thing then how I... do we operate in one size fits all? in uh in medicine when you're saying to us that that tiffany needs to have a certain thing justin needs a certain thing and if you're going to tell me that then how are you going to come back and then piss in my ear and tell me that it's rainwater and go oh this is this treatment works for everybody mm. Mm, yeah, exactly yeah. the same for everybody and, it, and yeah. it's Did not did you know that when they do a transplant that they don't even take your old kidneys out? They just put what yes. they attach mm -hmm. they put the, one to. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they, they put the new. And the, the, don't they like what well, I already like? Don't they like shrivel up or something like that? I, I, I don't know. I don't know the, no, the you do. know what happens to them once they in there. Um, do, 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 do I've always wondered about stem turn back on. I was wondering yeah, if it turned back, turn back, back on. I think with stem cell, they can <laughs> turn back on. Well, I don't right? know about that. Now, look, now, I don't know. We're putting out no information. We can't, 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 we can not 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 then we should be talking about individual plans and it shouldn't be. Yeah, and, yeah. and I also, I, I wonder like when I'm dealing with, with my own health and I'm talking to, uh, to my care team, um, it, for me, it's always a question mark when I, I go to see a cardiologist and the cardiologist is in worse shape than I am. You know, the card cardiologist <laughs> has a bigger weight problem than I do. I'm like, no, brother, you can't. I'm going to have to go somewhere else. <laughs> like, if we we both tipping the scales. I don't see how you go. <laughs> yeah. and, and, that's, and that's too, because everybody, you know, uh, now they got this this new thing out about eating according to you. Man, we talked about this before on another episode of the show mm -hmm. about eating according to your blood type. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm I'm uh, uh, AB positive. Me and my wife A positive, so we A positive. So um, they say A people that's that's A positive not supposed to eat meat. You know, people that's O are meat eaters. So you know, you have different things, and and and, and you know, they don't tell you. You know, according to your your blood type, what you're supposed to eat because they don't know, they they don't know. They, I, you know, you know we I have really, I, we talk about medicine, man. Medicine, medicine is not anything about nutrition. It's, mm -hmm. it's medicine. So I, I and I had a nutritionist. I, I thought she was a pretty good nutritionist because by me being a diabetic, I told her I said I like to eat fruit. She said, well, if you eat apple or whatever you eat, make sure you eat nuts behind it because it's the protein. It'll balance off the the sugar spikes. And when I do that, I notice it does. It don't make my sugar go up as, as high as if I ate just a regular apple. 
if I eat an apple and eat almonds or something behind it, you know, my sugar won't spike as fast and as high, you know. So, you know, some, you know, you have to get a nutritionist because doctors, medical medicine doctors are not going to tell you, yo, yo, eat here because they don't know. They don't know. So, you know, yeah. if we don't find that out, then we doing more harm than good to our bodies when we don't eat the, the stuff that according to who, what we're supposed to eat and, 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 the, and the diagnosis that we have, you know, by being a diabetic, I know I ain't supposed to eat sugar. You know, but and that's the place like where we food. can. The food is medicine. We know food is medicine. Right. Food right. is where right. you can win this, and that's where we have the most agency as right. as patients. That's where we can can go. You know what? I'm clearing out my my uh, cupboard. You know the things yeah. in here that don't work for me. I'm gonna start clearing this stuff out, and that doesn't mean you yeah. have to do everything today because this is mm -hmm. a lifestyle you're trying to change your lifestyle so you mm -hmm. take the steps that you need to take but know that there are other people there that are on the road with you because that that's literally why we do what we do is to make mm -hmm. sure and and i'm talking about we as in the texas kidney foundation is to make sure my day job <laughs> that's mm -hmm. to make sure that people uh, have all the resources that they need, right, right. and that they understand. And, and like Justin, and, and, and as Justin does, always ask the questions, man. I don't yes. care how mad they get to. Uh, uh, Justin you know, is doing you, the right thing. Or, uh, how dumb it may seem is is no dumb question. If you don't know the answer to it, then how can it be dumb? You you got to ask the question to get the answer. That's right. And you know, if you have doctors that get upset because you're asking questions, then you need to find another doctor. Yes, because, the, and see, that that is where the problem lies, is that when you have uh, a situation where there is not another doctor that you can go to in terms of the, yeah. the whole program, right? We're talking about spaces where there's only two places to choose from, and between those two, they kind of work silently together. You've got, got a together. lot of folks working right. together. And so yeah. if you go against one, you're going against both. Or you can get marked by going. And it's yeah. not even you're going against anybody. Asking someone, hey, why is the, the, the uh, office closed today? I'm supposed to receive services today. And this is your third time yeah. in the last two months to close. <laughs> And, the, yeah. and you know, you know, this is a life sustaining therapeutic. So I, I really would feel more comfortable knowing in advance what's going to go, what's going to happen and it's what's going like, You like should be able to ask that. Is a difference, too, though, between asking questions and giving diagnosis. Like my wife, she gives a diagnosis of herself. She's like, I think I got MS. So, you know, you <laughs> tell him the <laughs> hypochondriac, she tell him the doctor what she thinks she got. You know, they like, hey, you don't have no MS, okay? Well, when I do this, I do that. Well, you don't have no MS. Don't do this. Don't do that. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? So you, it's different between asking questions and going to the doctor and giving your own diagnosis of yourself. Because that's, yeah. that's when they get real mad. Like, okay, yeah, you know you more know, than me. But, now. but ask the question when ask you know, questions. you know, yeah, ask questions. Ask questions. You know, you, sh you should ask questions and you shouldn't have to be afraid that right. Well, let me uh, let me add to that when you say uh, you're knowing more than me. I've also been to, and this you have to be careful with too. I had doctors because they were giving me medicine and it was causing me to get nauseated. So then they gave me other medicine for the nausea medicine. And when I had a little bit of money, I went to a a, a holistic doctor, a Chinese doctor, I think, and he basically. He got he gave me distilled aloe vera, and not only did it clear up my skin, which they have you have all these skin issues with dialysis with the phosphorus leaking in, in through your skin, but it uh it got rid of the nausea. Mm. So I I took that back to my doctor, and I told him I said I'm I'm better, but it's not from this, and I'm not taking this nausea. And, and, he, and he was like, oh, this is just aloe vera. I, I was like, well, you knew about it. And he said, yeah, I did know about it. He said, but it's not FDA approved. So even if I did, I can't say anything about it. 
And wow. I told him to and his face. He told me that. Yes, ma'am. I took it to him. And he's and I told him, I said, you don't have my best interest at heart, so I won't be looking to you to help me to do nothing else. Wow, wow. I spent my yeah. own money to do that. And then let's go with, with my own money. I, I have a, a infrared sauna downstairs, and I never knew why it was helping me so much, but it puts more oxygen to the blood. So it was a reason why I was going to the infrared sauna all this time, because just like the chicken that you put in the infrared oven and it heats from the inside out and continues to cycle and never burns the chicken, it does that to your body. So it heats you from the organs first and clean them out. And I never knew why I love infrared heat. That's not taught. Getting rid of phosphorus via sweating and working out every day. I'm sitting out here in the sun right now because that's what I have to do when I get out of dialysis. You see what I'm saying? None of this is taught, but there's ways to to make this situation the, better. There's all kinds of lifestyle Tiffany, changes. It goes can, back to what Tiff said. We go with Tiffany said about doctors and their protocol. They follow a straight protocol. Uh-huh. And they don't deviate from that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's, it, it's fear of being sued or uh, what, it, what, what, what it is. But, you know, there are ways that doctors know that probably can help you better than just giving you medicine. And, but I guess they can't tell you that. Ain't that something? And you've been listening to On the Record with Tiffany and Kevin. And we're going to come back and wrap this up. 